Today I will be showing to you my collection and a lot of this is handmade by me. I start collecting pearls maybe like about two years ago. I started to uh, have been interested on collecting pearls. A lot of this is uh, natural pearls. So it's because uh, I want that Chanel necklace and not be able to afford to buy right now. So I started to make my own that it's similar to Chanel necklace design. So I made this one. So I bought the um, pearls online and this one is, uh, I used two sizes here. This is the 10 millimeter and this is six millimeter and i found a website that sells of uh, gold field metal material like this here and all this is gold filled and the letter letter m right here is my initial Except for this one right here, this is not gold filled, but this easily I can take it off and change with something, something better quality if I, if I want to. And so this Chanel logo here is a gift from a member family. I don't have no idea if this is a real Chanel logo or not but it's okay uh, I'm happy with it so what I did is create this necklace hopefully is close enough to a Chanel necklace design so M is my name my initial and the this little M here is for my mama so this is long enough that I can wear long or I can double like this I just want to wear short So I'm happy with this uh, necklace here because gold field actually if you're wearing gold field uh, basically you're almost wearing gold. Gold field is thick of layer around the metal so it's gonna take years before before it fades out if you like if you're going to get this wet or you know taking taking a shower with it so this is the first one and so I keep buying pearls online and the same thing with this second one also use the gold field and this charm here is my birdstone. I was born in March. Not sure if you can see, there's March written on the heart. And this pearl here is a freshwater pearl, but, but is a um, grade AA. Actually, grade AA is very good, it's almost almost perfect round cool so that's my second pearl and also I made this one uh, this one I design half half pearl and half 
chain. This one I use a 10 millimeter pearl and six millimeter. And I use um, 925 uh, sterling silver chain. And this loop, I'm not sure how you call this closure here. So I designed this one as you wear like this you wear half half pearl half chain so how much I got here so this is the port necklace I have so this one is again gold filled this is the fish hook um, closure and again I use gold filled there so I can use this for years and years and actually this pearl right here is how you said it it's just the nugget <laughs> they call it a nugget if if the roundness is not too perfect and uh, there's a lot of dent on the pearl and the size are not all the same they call it nugget basically it's nothing special but it makes it special to me because you're wearing something that grows underwater so that's what cool about the pearl and that's why I started collecting pearls so and so this one also is a nugget pearls I, that sounds funny but this one I use um, magnetic closure because it's just easy to wear just boom done and the cross of pound in a uh, hobby lobby so this one is not gonna last i know because it's not it's not 925 sterling silver but the magnetic ore so and these are made me matching earrings and the story behind this is is because one day I was watching Madonna on TV and noticed Madonna love cross. She loved cross. She she was wearing a cross earrings and she was wearing layer of cross necklaces. So and then I thought about hmm, why not make me one, right? So it's a necklace and matching earrings cool and this one is oh I love this one uh, this one is um, 10 millimeter black pearls but it's water it's a, excuse me it's a fresh water pearls uh, grade AA and um, it's black but as you, uh, I'm not sure if you can see this. You see the shine, the peacock color. So actually, the colors change depending on the clothes I wear, the lights, the color change, and it's so pretty. So I made this one, and about this um, closure here. with rhinestone and uh, the way I like to wear this is I like the closure right on the front so like when you when you see you see the closure right right here on the side 
And um, so when I went to Philippines last October, I went to uh, SM and I found these earrings that is matching my necklace. This is cost more than this necklace here, but I'm so happy I found this. So I have matching necklace and earring, black pearls. So I love, love that. And so, this one here, I saw this in the store. This is actually, these two pieces right here is one piece necklace. And I saw this in the store and uh, I read the description. It says fresh natural pearls. But looking at it, I said, mmm, it looks like it's not natural. And feel it, it's not natural. So, no, it's not natural. So, this is fake pearls. So, what I did, I take them apart, redo it, I mix it with a six millimeter light pink and white pearl there. And I made me one necklace. Again, with a magnetic closure there. Uh, round nine two five still sterling silver and so made me one necklace Again, this. and I made me one matching bracelet and I mean um, I know it's not real but it still looks good so sometimes you just want something that looks good it doesn't have to be real all the time and so i keep buying pearls beads and i keep making it's just a um, hobby of mine now i started making jewelry um pearls now I started making gemstones. Uh, so this one, remember this? So I made me a bigger version. So this one is, this is six or eight millimeter and this one is Okay, this one is 10 millimeter. And as you can see here, same closure, small, and this one is big, bigger one. And because I like, sometimes I like to wear just a short one, sometimes I like to wear a little bit longer, it depends on what clothes I'm wearing, so here and so can wait to show you this one this one also I found this Barack natural fresh water pearls and this is I think 13 or 14 millimeter the size on this and I use a um, 925 sterling silver closure there and it's so cool look at that shape so cool and for this um, necklace I made me a matching earrings again I like to make my 
matching earrings and necklace. So I made this one matching earrings like that. And I made it um, where I can remove the pearl and use some different earrings that I just can stick in, wear like that. And I can always remove if I want to change my earrings, I can just easily hang it whatever earrings I want to wear. So that is my, this is the only one Baroque pearls I have so far. And so, I made me, I saw this girl on, 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 on TV and she was wearing a very long pearls earrings. Again, I said, wow, that is looks so cute. Again, I made me one. So this hoof earring here is 10K gold and I use the gold field metal here when I made these earrings. And this is um, freshwater pearls. Uh, grade AA 10 millimeter and I made this earring extra long like that because I like big earrings and I like extra extra long so pretty and so I made me a shorter version of that If sometimes I just want something small so I made me a short version of the earrings and all this is gold filled metal material same pearl 10 uh, millimeter grade AA right there. and so I'm talking about pearl collection so mostly of this I show you is handmade uh, I made handmade but this one here I bought from my um, niece member of family and she sold me this this is very little pearls not sure if the pearls are real but it's um, 18 carat white gold uh, she's very tiny I don't wear this a lot um, just sometimes but it's part of my collection and so speaking of pearls collection um, remember this one is the YSL stud earrings but these are not real they are fake pearls just like Chanel they're making their necklaces a jewelry from fake pearls so but it costs a lot a lot of money it's because you paying for the name brand and I have one more here that I want to show you this one is also not real pearls but again it's because the name brand and that's why it costs lots of money and this one is from the Valentino Grovani here is the dash bag for this yeah so trying to think if I show you everything but I think I have one more here to show you okay at least two more so sometimes when I have leftover pearls 
and I don't know what to do with it. I just make up something like this one here. The dangle earrings with pearl. So this is uh, made from uh, again 10 millimeter fresh water pearl grade AA and the change is um, 925 sterling silver.